Where do you guys think we are? <laughs> I'll give you one guess. Hello guys, hello! Welcome to the vlog! It's been a minute since we've vlogged, it's been a minute. We are in Dallas, Fort Worth. We just flew from LaGuardia to Dallas. We've got a two hour sit. We are currently heading to the employee restaurant thing, which is like my favorite. I just discovered it like a few weeks ago on one of my trips, and so now we're doing it again. We've got one more flight today. We are heading from Dallas to Atlanta. So, whoop whoop. We get into Atlanta around 3.15, 3.30. I got lipstick all over my sandwich and on my thumb. My reusable straw! <laughs> I know you guys can't tell, but I did do my hair. Ooh, that water is infused with vanilla and orange. I literally just have to take my red lipstick off. I cannot eat a sandwich with lipstick on. Look how much lipstick is on this sandwich. I'm just a mess. <laughs> I'm such a messy eater. Guys, I'm not sure about this bun life right now. Let's, can it focus on this bun life? Not me. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have sat on that. Okay, I just think I'm having a bad hair day. It's not cooperating with me very well. I took off my red lipstick. I'm wearing Pillow Talk now, Charlotte Tilbury. And um, I don't know, sometimes the red, every red that I've ever tried, like my entire life has always dried my lips out. So like midway through the day, a lot of the times I'll take my red off or else it starts looking funky. Okay, we just landed in Atlanta. In, a, in Atlanta. I can't want to keep wanting to say Atlantic. We just landed in Atlanta. This is Delta territory. I gotta be on my best behavior. From Dallas to Atlanta, it was about an hour and a half flight. A little bit of turbulence, a little bit of scariness. And yeah, now we're gonna get into the shuttle van and head to the hotel. Ooh, ooh, ooh look, hardwood floors, hello. I was like, that did nothing. Look at how nice this like wooden closet is. Okay, coffee essential. Hmm. One bed, you guys. Okay, favorite thing ever. Ah, taking off my scarf. Taking off my scarf. Ooh. All right, all right, guys. Even though it's one bed, it's a big one bed, so I'll take it. All right, what time is it? It is, it's 3.30? No, time is different here. Oh, oh my gosh, it's 4.30. So it's four, oh, okay, my glasses were glaring. Oh, okay, guys, I'm just gonna be the first one to acknowledge it. I don't know what happened. I got, I developed a zit on the flight. I think it was a stress zit because we had a lot of turbulence landing into Dallas because there was a lot of winds. We were in a holding pattern because it was too windy to land. And I was like, ah! <laughs> but it was super, super turbulenty. And then when we were coming into Atlanta, it was super, tur tons of turbulence. I don't know if there was more wind or just like, cloud patterns, but it was bad. And I was like super stressed out, so I think my body just like developed a stress sit. I'm going with that. I am such a hot mess right now. Like, I'm not even gonna lie. I'm gonna take my hair out. Okay, if you guys wanna do a bun or a French twist in your hair, these are literally, let's see if I can get this to focus. Not on me. These are the best, these are the best things in the world. There's supposed to be like 50 or so of these. Maybe 50 is an exaggeration. Maybe it's more like 20. But these things hold my hair up so good. Look, there's another one. I only need two. This is coming out. <laughs> All right, I'm super tired since I had a really early pickup. I was literally up at like 3 a.m. because I had an early sign in at LaGuardia. I'm looking a hot mess, I'm gonna take a nap, 
and I am watching on Netflix right now American Horror Story Apocalypse Season Apocalypse. Who else is watching it? If you guys have not seen American Horror Story, hashtag not an ad. It's so good. It's really dark and kind of scary. Maybe I don't recommend watching it with kids, but it's a really like a guilty pleasure. I like love it. Okay. Slam, Clicker, Stella, and... Oh wait. Take off my dress, put my pajamas on, get my laptop. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Guys, it's the next day. Okay. <laughs> Look how I sleep in the bed. I literally always take the covers and smush them into a ball. I'm such a messy little sleeper. I don't know why I do that all the time. Okay, it's about 6 a.m. We have pickup downstairs at 6.15. I literally did nothing yesterday. I watched like four episodes of American Horror Story. I went downstairs, ate some dinner by myself. I had like my headphones in and I had my little phone propped up. And guys, this got a lot better. It was so poofy yesterday, I think, because my glasses were like irritating it and I was touching it because I was like, what? I love it when hotels have this little like side ledge because you can put your suitcase on here so easily. So I got everything in there, shoes on, my tablet, it's done charging, oh good. Glasses. This is happening at 7 a.m. Yeah. He's eating a muffin. <laughs> I'm eating pizza. <laughs> Who's healthy? Don't, not. don't mind me. Okay, a blueberry muffin is not healthy. <laughs> There's so much calories in that. How many is in there? This is calorie free. What pizza are you <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let me, let me put my pizza down here for just one second. I vlogged with Melvin before. We don't remember which vlog it was, but he was like, it was the one where you were like, how do you spell phlegm? And I was like, oh my gosh, yes. I thought phlegm was, start, was spelled with an F, but it's spelled P-H. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, I never knew how to spell phlegm. Do you guys get phlegm too? <laughs> I was like, I know it's so nasty, but I legit get phlegm when I work out. Um, yeah, how funny. Oh my gosh, but we don't remember the vlog. Mm -hmm. I forget where you was at. It was your first time there, though. It was my first time somewhere, and it was like, I know that airport. I've been there since now. Yeah, been there. <laughs> not Chicago. No. No, it's not Chicago. I was like, that might be Chicago. <laughs> We've been, to, we've been to Chicago. Um, you guys, favorite straws ever. I know I'm like a spokesperson for these straws. It's 7 a.m., dropping napkins. And we should start boarding in a minute here. We're probably done eating pizza breakfast. Okay, we've got my bag here. Okay, one flight, one flight today done. My bag keeps getting stuck on seats. One flight done, one more to go. Back home to New York. Are we taking the air train? I don't know. Is this the one that has, oh yes, the peace and love. Hello Miami, welcome to Miami. Benvenidos a Miami. <laughs> Come on, get in, get in on this. Get in on this? Yeah. What do you want me to say? Benvenidos, Ami. Benvenidos. Ami, Ami. Ami, Death. This camera is like, this is the new iPhone 11 Max, and I'm like, 
I'm like, why does my face look like this? Like, is this what I normally look like? Is this what I normally look like? I shouldn't have had pizza for breakfast, let me tell you. <laughs> my crew's getting in line here for empanadas. Right, I'm back on my I'm back on my vlogging camera. I don't know about this new iPhone with the vlogging capabilities. So since I had pizza for breakfast, I'm not getting an empanada. My crew is over there getting an empanada, but I'm not because I'm being good. But empanadas in Miami are like my kryptonite. They're so good, you guys. If you are ever in Miami airport and you're hungry, get an empanada from anywhere. Nice clean plane to start with. Look at it. So we had like two hours in between flights. So we walked from our other gate to we're now in our new plane that we're taking to fly home to LaGuardia. And the plane was here, so we've got like 45 minutes before we start boarding. So like right now, most of the time, the crew kind of just scatters throughout the plane and some of us take naps, some of us eat lunch. I got like, I got like a meat and cheese plate here. Ready for takeoff. It's good. She's testing the safety video. So quick story time, guys. So last flight, we had a little bit of a medical emergency and immediately all four flight attendants, we all knew exactly our role to play in you know in the medical situation and everything just went smoothly we communicated we got you know necessary medical equipment communicated to our captain you know the situation and it's just so crazy as flight attendants we get trained so much on medical when we're going through initial training and then every year uh, I, I talk to you guys me going to reoccurrent training so every year we have to know how to like disarm and arm all the doors and we go over all these like medical situations so we get trained so much on medical and medical emergencies medical situations are a huge part of our job i know a lot of people think oh you know as a flight attendant you are in customer service and you're and you're you know serving drinks and you know passing out food and pretzels and cookies but really like medical training and kind of like first responders because we really are the first responders if something happens on the plane it's a huge part of our job and we are trained constantly so it was kind of cool that like even though I haven't flown in a few weeks like I was just like oh this is like I'm in the zone it's go time like I got to grab this medical equipment I got to do this I got to communicate this to this person the crew is a well-oiled machine we just all work really well and everything everybody was okay everybody was fine so oh. hmm wasn't quite what I was expecting Ha, ha, ha.